This fifth Excel lesson is all about macros. Uh, macros are a really um, excellent tool that you can use to run um, repeatable programs within a, a workbook. And there are several things that you need to do to make that run, to make it happen. And so what I've got here is an example of how I've used macros in the past. What I've created here is a self-marking um, test, a uh, times tables test, but you could be addition, subtraction, make it whatever, however you want it to work, that you would use in your classroom to get students to um, basically test and mark their own work um, in an instant, and then print it out. So what we've got here is a, st a very small times tables program, and you would get your students to sit down, and they would answer these questions, so 4, um, 8, and 12, and 16. Now, it implies down here that a score should appear. In a test situation, you don't want to, like we saw in previous um, lessons, to give your students clues as to whether they've got the answers correct or incorrect. So, um, what we need to do is to make sure that they don't know what they're doing, um, but we need to make sure that Excel is keeping tally of what's going on. And so in the background, we have a worksheet over here called Score. And SCORE has, in fact, keep kept track of how well that student's done. And you can see from they've got 4 out of 4 so far. And instead of the results up here, we've just got a series of 1s. And to put this together, what I've done is I use a... Um, what is it? What I've used is a, a formula that um, is the if formula, and if it returns a true value, it puts 1 in this square. If it returns a, a, an incorrect value or a false value, it returns a 0. And so down here, I've used the count if function, and the count if is going to count this array here, um, or this range of cells, and if the value, it's only going to count the values of 1. And because we've got four values of one, we've now got a score of four. And so now we need to write a macro that's going to get that information from this scoring page onto this page here. And to do that, we need to go to this version here. We need to click on Tools, and we need to click on Macro. Now, first things first, if you're going to use macros in a workbook you need to change the security. So click on security and by default your macro setting is set to high and only signed macros from trusted sources will be allowed to run. But you need to click on medium to enable um, your have a choice to whether you want to run the macro or not. Once you've done that you can start recording your macro. So we come back to tools, click on macro and we're going to record a new macro. And what macro the macro does is is it records all your actions within the Excel spreadsheet and then rolls it up as a program. So we're going to call this score. Press enter. And the moment we press oh uh, no. So I've already got one called score, so I need to do another one. Let's call this results then. So we're going to ours is called results that we're going to be using. And basically what we're going to do is create a formula in this cell that copies the value from the score worksheet in here. Press enter. And now we've got this running in here. Then we're going to go to print. We won't go, want to print on my printer. And it's good. You've got to let this whole thing run through. It's printing. Yes, press print. It's all printing off nicely now. And then now that we know that it's printing and I've acknowledge the print I can I can click in here yes I know I'm running out of ink um, you can delete this page uh, delete the uh, what the children have entered on the page and we can delete the formula and then finally we can stop the recording so now we need to assign that macro to a button you can do it by a keyboard shortcut but we're not going to do that we want to make it visual for the children so we come up to view click on toolbars and click on forms and on the form toolbar there is a, oh, I just want to show me it's uh, there's a button so we're going to click on the button and we're going to make the button quite big so 
click there and as soon as we do that we want to select the macro we want to run here called results click OK and we've assigned that to our button we're going to delete the name of our button and that's it and so now we have assigned our uh, macro to our button we have put the instructions on the button and the children know exactly what to do and once you press click here to print score your work will run these children will get their worksheet printed out with their results on so they can see where they've made their mistakes and their score and then the macro will clear the page and is leave the worksheet ready for the next person to come along and use um, the, the worksheet as it's intended on the computer. Really good tool, works really really well. So I hope you enjoy that and um, if you have any problems with that don't forget you can contact me um, via my blog um, or via the wiki um, and um, let me know how you get on with that and see how many different ways you can bend those um, those rules to make something work for you in your classroom.